Hello Virgo and welcome to your tarot card reading for the week ahead of October 10th. Um, my camera is on the blitz so I'm using my phone um, so bear with me I'm using only one hand and so I did pre-shuffle the cards and um, already put them out using one hand so anyway um, so you're walking in the theme of the week is ace of hearts this to me is telling me that you know you're taking um more of it's an ace so you're taking more um a you're called in for like to um you t or you're taking control of some stuff in your life so it's like um a more of a leadership um type of the the leadership type of role leader and it's also speaking about new love um new beginnings um in all things and emotion that are emotionally fulfilling so that's kind of the theme you've got the underlining energy is the three of diamonds now you have a lot of threes so communication this is the underlining energy and communication is like very very much in focus and it's the underlining energy of the week um it's talk of um it's with anything and because you got all these um four threes it's telling me that it's it's got to do with every aspect um you know of your life so we're talking about home family work um things so communication is very very um much in focus how you communicate what you're communicating how um, it's just um or maybe there's too much maybe too little so it's just saying that that is in focus with the eight of spades here, um, it is talking about for some of you feeling stuck in some areas. What I believe it is, it is got to do with probably um, your job. There are changes um, though and opportunities. It's an eight. So it's saying to put a little bit more focus. If you want to turn that energy around, um, it's saying putting that, a little bit of more focus on that and you add more energy into it. And opportunities like to um, um, to advance or to um, get some opportunities, you know, to, to, to change in your work area. This pot, I, it's, I feel it's more like in your work area. Maybe somebody got a new job, and or whatever it is, or um, it's just you wanting some advancement, you wanting some change, you want um, opportunities. It's saying. Put some more energy in this so you don't feel stuck on the job and that you could be able to maybe get that promotion eventually or get that a better position that's something that's coming through for you guys there with the jack of diamonds this is why i said to do that is um schedule that meeting um or an interview or um have that talk with the boss or wh whoever it is it's more basically it's um it is to focus more on money, so um, it's saying, um, you know, get that negotiations. I feel some negotiations here too, and possibly, you know, make some concessions, have realistic goals, um, but get that meeting, get that interview, or have that talk, and you know, be prepared to have some concessions, but realistic. You're still looking like you're moving ahead here. With the nine of clubs. It's saying there is no reason also to rush into any kind of commitment. It is telling me to listen to your gut too here. Because you got sixes, you got some changes here. So it's telling me listen to your gut. Um, don't rush into anything. Even though if everyone around you is saying, hey, that sounds good or um, blah, blah, blah. But your gut saying, hmm, maybe I should wait. Um, be, go with your gut feeling, Okay. So that's just saying there, you know, just be ready to take a stand for um, um, not rushing it into any kind of commitment. It depends on what area it is. Um, and listen to your intuition. With the six of spades here, it is saying um, that you need to take a stand and clear some things away. Some things need movement, um, getting rid of some stuff. And it's saying, you know, to, you got to face realistically some issues or some things that have arisen and uh, clear them out. Take your stand. Um, this could be about money because it is a six and it's talking about um, home and family too and um, work, career, and um, yeah, it's telling, it's definitely telling me here 
take your stand, clear some stuff out, and move forward with it. That's a specific message that's coming up. Then with the lover's card, and it's made to Arcana, um, you, if you need help, this is the way it's working out with these other cards. Um, definitely love matters of the heart is in focus on that too. It could be contracts, could be work. But if you need some kind of help or assistance, take it. Um, it's like somebody is coming in here who would probably want to assist you or help you or get that contract, get something that you want. Or in the matters of the heart, maybe it is to deal with love or something, but it's saying take it. Um, we could all um, use a assistance once in a while. Um, for others, this is just matters of the heart are going to be coming up. Um, decisions to be made too. And no reason to jump into a commitment either. Go with your gut because you got some cards here too. Um, with the three of spades here, it's saying, um, again, communication is very much in focus this week. And it is talking about... Um, Something, some old issues or some issues may come up as we just saw here. And it's saying and it could be with love. Um, it could be about money also. And some um, tensions could arise here. And you probably sensed, I have a feeling you sensed it coming anyway because your intuition is speaking here. So you probably sensed it coming anyway. And, you know, these are things that you're going to have to, um, you know, resolve. Some things that you may... Um, need to resolve and most likely will resolve it pretty good because coming towards the end of the week more towards the end of the week you got the jack of uh, clubs and the jack of clubs is saying that there is possibly some manipulative people around you um this could be uh, just a warning to about new people in your life maybe um or new things that came in or new ideas from people that you knew so there could have been something there but um what it's also saying you know, being a little weary, not rushing into anything as I see this, using your intuition. But it is also saying that, um, you know, you're going to free yourself of some of the stuff here. You're clearing out the closet. You're going with your intuition. Things most likely going to work your way. And you're going to be like um, this brand new energy and putting things into action coming in. And you're turning this around and um, going into something new. So at the end of the week is looking exciting. And then you end the week with then coming into the next week with the eight of hearts. So the focus is going moving on from basically, um, you know, it's taking the leadership and role action in something, be, being called to be a leader. And um, it's moving into um, matters of the heart. Well, it's, it's eight. So we're talking about focusing a lot of energy and power into getting things pretty much your way. This is a lot of power here. And we're talking about socializing here. Family could be um, involved in this. Love, the home, focus is all on that. Socializing more, finding love through social, socializing. Um, the people coming, more gatherings, family, and that it's all got to do with this, or group parties at work, things like that. But love looks like it's in focus coming in next week, so this is a good card. And your card for um, um, career is the Three of Hearts. And the Three of Hearts is talking about um, ask, ask some questions. It's again talking about communications. Um, go after what you wanted, like right here, um, what I was saying before. If you want to move ahead and that, um, make that appointment, make, go to that interview, um, negotiate something, you know, be realistic. And negotiate something because you're most likely going to get what you want eliminating something you didn't want getting something that you want so that's looking good here too okay um, and for love you got the three of clubs again the focus is heavily on communication this week in action talk and stuff like that but that is telling me again with love because it's coming underneath this this could be someone you coming in you do have you are coming into the week with the ace of hearts so for some of you and your love is coming in it could be a fire sign for all i know he could he or she could be younger or very um spirited and energy um what it is also saying is here because it's crossing the three of um spades again communications 
um, taking your stand in something, resolving some issues maybe that arise, someone maybe from the past, making some decisions, um, eliminating what doesn't work. And if um, communication, communication, communication is saying you can really come into some um, a real good resolutions here. For some, you, you're going to agree to disagree or, um, like I said, um, just coming to some kind of resolution that's going to really ultimately bring you to a better place here. Either way, you're coming in with the Ace of Hearts, so, you know, new beginnings, taking a leadership role in here. It looks like things are basically going your way. And I'm, I forgot to, um, I did shuffle the tarot cards. I forgot to pull one out with the spread here, but you got the Nine of Pentacles. So you got this underlining energy. To some, it's telling me some may have just found a new job and you're happy bringing in more income into the home. For some, um, thinking of moving. Uh, thinking of moving is coming in. For some, it's, you know, this is very indicative of um, starting a home business if possible. It will be profitable. You know, um, there is a lot of focus on communications here and also in um, some kind of deals and making some changes here. You got the powers here in the eight, so this is really focusing some energy and this is making money too. You got the leadership skill here, kind of walking with the one. With the nine here, you definitely, there is a change maybe in the way money was bringing into the home and how it's going, um, and you're starting off new again. So um, there was a change, something's about to complete, but it's good, it's nine. So this is like, you know, bringing money into the home maybe thoughts of moving, maybe starting an own business. That's a very good thought with all these threes here too. And all, um, the, um, these are also really good creative ideas. Implementing some very, that nine here too, um, implementing um, some of your very good creative ideas and making them profitable. So that is another way this is working out too. Anyway, Virgo, um, that was your reading for the week of um, October 10th. It was a great reading. And um, I'll see you tomorrow for my gemstone readings. Bye, guys.